Hello YouTube subscribers, today or tonight whenever you're watching us, I am doing another Marvel Legends series figure review of um, Spider-Man No Way Home 3 figures pack. Uh, it, uh, also, I like to start off with my would like to start off with my video if you're a newcomer passing by welcome please hit that subscribe button it, uh if you don't mind please uh follow me i l i welcome all new and old uh subscribers with open arms if you're a old subscriber welcome back um also please hit that like button if you like this video if you did not like this video don't I wouldn't mind if you hit that dislike button, because it's your opinion, not mine, so, it's, uh, yeah, so, but anyway, uh, I'm reviewing the Spider-Man No Home 3 Figures Pack. This is, I will say, this is a Hasbro exclusive. When I first hear, heard that Hasbro was bringing these figures out, and the first round of order, which was pre-order, I actually missed that round. I mean, a few times it was still up around for pre-order, but I never bothered to get around for saving up for it, even though I really wanted this three pack. Like I wanted Chucky. I uh, at first few times I um I. I knew I wanted Chucky, but the first few times when I had enough for Chucky, actually had enough, I didn't bother getting Chucky. But thanks to COVID, I truly believe it wasn't if it wasn't up if it wasn't for COVID, I wouldn't have uh, even gotten Chucky. Uh, uh, but anyway, so um, after I saw the Spider Verse movie, the Spider Man across the Spider Verse movie. And after I and after I heard that Hasbro released new pictures and did a video of them showing the pic of the figures, I'm like, okay, cool, cool. I went onto their website and and to to just see if they brought them back in at least to stock to at least pre-order. Maybe not order, but maybe pre-order. And, uh, I actually saw them not for pre-order, but just to order. And that they would ship right away. So, uh, so, I, and I knew, uh, at the end of the week that I looked up the figures, I would have exact enough for me to order these figures. And, up a whole of that... <laughs> I ordered these Thursday, It sh they shipped, I'm pretty sure, the next day, and they said they were, p the, uh, FedEx said they should be here this past Thursday, they actually got here Wednesday, which if you follow me on Facebook and Instagram, you guys would know that, because I post, uh, these figures on thir on, uh, Wednesday, yeah, I could have done the video review on Thursday, Friday, whatever, but actually, yeah, today is Friday. Uh, <laughs> uh, Thursday, but I just got home, but on Thursday, got home from work, was exhausted, so figured if I would have gone around to it, I would have done it. I would do the review for today, so as we are, today's Friday, here's the review, so I'll just get into it. Um, if you guys know my rhythm, start with the box, accessories, then the figures. So, let's just move the figures out of the way. And, um, I will, and when I do, when I review the figures and the accessories, I will go by order of how the Spider-Man were released. Uh, um, even though Spider-Man No Way Home and this is basically based off the Tom Holland Spider-Man, third Spider-Man movie. I, I'm just gonna go with, as the style they, each Spider-Man was first released. Toby. 
then Andrew, then Tom. So, so yeah. And then uh, a little further at the end of the video, before I get to my wish list, as I do have, as I do a uh, quote at the end of every single my figure review videos. Uh, but before then, I will do a versus which one's better, which one you should have on your shelf. Sh should it be the one that comes with the 30-pack or the one that you get originally before the 30-pack ever came out? So, I'll also do that as well, but box. Um, the box, you basically, you don't get that window -ness style. You basically get this complete cardboard cover-up with artwork, which, don't get me wrong, since it was a Hasbro Plus website exclusive, I kind of didn't mind it, because it wasn't going out in stores, you didn't have to take the liberty to cross your fingers and hope after you buy the pack three figures pack you're actually getting the three figures that uh, you're supposed to get and not have to take a leap of chance of uh so but last few times when i bought figures in these type of boxes i actually opened the boxes up in stores in the after i bought them like in target um and i checked before i left so um, but I do like the artwork for the front of the box. Got Toby, got Tom, well, to Andrew, T T Tom, and Toby. Toby, Andrew, and Tom. Marvel Studios, Spider-Man No Way Home, The Warning, Hasbro, the company that makes it, uh, whatever that is, uh, uh whatever that is. Marvel Legends series. The side. The other side. The top. The bottom. And the back. Which, also, I do like the back. How Toby is standing right in front of his logo. Andrew standing right in front of his, and Tom standing right in front of his. But, um, uh, also, what I will say is that, even though, yes, we're past the point of Spider-Man No Way Home, and we finally got this three figures pack, should we got it earlier? Yes. Are we... Am I glad we actually waited for this three pack? Yes, because normally with Hasbro, with their Marvel Legends line, they do release some figures, some, not all, some, even after the movie. Like, uh, did they did the whole, did they did certain, uh, certain people from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3? No. Like Gamora. From Volume Three, would we want? Do we mo, Does most Marvel Legends figures collectors want a Volume Three Gamora in their collection? Yes, I'm one of them. Does people want uh to see Mar Hasbro redo an uh, Infinity Saga line like Cap uh, the first Captain America movie a as a two pack of uh, the World World, the World, War World 2, uh, Captain America suit he wore, weared throughout the rest of the movie, and, uh, the second figure he could come with as a two-pack could be Bucky Barnes, Thor and Loki from the Thor, first Thor movie, um, just certain figures, but, uh, so yeah, now let's get into the uh, figures, accessories, um, but, uh, so, yeah, it's like, y yes, Hasbro does have their issues time and time again about releasing certain figures, 
even after the movie is done and over with, but sometimes it is good to even wait for figures like Andrew and Tom and Toby three figures pack. So... Um, as I already have on him, on Toby, uh, this side of flipping, uh, web shutting hand, and on this side, uh, fist. If I can make the camera a little less blurry, there we go. Now, uh, you do get, for each side, Royal Qualling Hand. And I do like the painting for Toby. Uh, Royal, each, uh, hand sculpt. Here's the other side. For the other wall Crawling Hand. Uh, here's the other Fisted Hand. And then here is a web shooting on the other web shooting hand. And each Spider Man and this three figures pack uh comes with a web a web line. It's clear. It's much, much clearer than the one we got with the uh, Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man figure. That that web line we got with him is is a little more grayish white. This one is like a clear. So all all three of them are are like a clear web line, which I guess brings more to that realistic ish to to the web line, like like a live action Maybe web line, I guess. And then for to um and then for Toby's uh for Toby here's one wall crawling hand. The paint job is also good on his hand sculpt. All of them has good paint paint jobs. This wall crawling hand, it's supposed to be a wall crawling hand, but it doesn't look like a wall crawling hand. It looks like a weird, like his hand is cramping up and he and his hand is like hurting or something like that. And then you get, uh... A fisted hand. And a web shutting hand. And for Tom. You get basically the same thing. Two, two uh, wall crawling hands. And two fisted hands. Um, now, as we get uh, wall crawling hands, fisted hands, web shooting hands for all three, and three web lines for all three figures, that's great and all, but for this to be... I do have my negatives for this. For for this three figures pack. Uh it's great. 
don't get me wrong, the paint job's great, the, they look great, the movement that the figures can do is great, the, uh, it's great that we've got Spider-Man figures that came with fist, wall crawling, web shooting hands, but for $105, okay, I get it, it's a exclusive figure box set. Only on their website, not Amazon, not eBay's, on on their website. And I get and I understand that figures prices and stores went up, including on their website and other websites. Prices has gone up on everything and not just figures. But we could have gotten a little more accessories like grabbing hands like we got a few spider-man figures that came with like spider-man spider-man uh the fan the the amazing fantasy spider-man figure came with not just wall crawling hands web shooting hands fisted hands uh he and not just a web line uh uh strand but he also came with uh, grabbing hands, where he, where he's, like, able to hold something, and, uh, that'd be cool, to, that would have been cool to get with all three of the figures, and, uh, unmask head, okay, uh, unmask Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, and Tom Holland head sculpt, that would have been cool, we gotten two figures so far, uh, of Tom Holland, actually three figures, if you want to count the outside of the costume, uh, th of uh, Tom Holland head sculpts, but it would have been cool for the first time. And uh, and this three figures pack, we once again got uh, Toby Maguire and Andrew Garfield head sculpts, um, with these figures. So it's like, come on, you got you guys make good figures, you guys really do, but you guys lack. On the accessories area. I mean yeah cool with the solo pack. And when you guys do build a figure. That, that's understandable. Because part of the build a figure. Takes room from the accessories. So, But in this. Came with no build a figure. This had more room. To add a little more accessories. So it's like. Including. It, it it's like but anyway moving on i just wanted to get that riot out of the way um but anyway starting with toby toby mcguire spider-man he is great he is awesome i do like how they did the figure. When I was looking at the figure, I, I I'm like, does the boots really look like that? Because I never noticed that the boots really looked like that until now. So the spider is like a blackish silver, the web line silver, which you could. It's not you. When you think that they painted over the web lines, no, you you physically had to you have to get it in light to notice the silver on the web lines. Now, the the movement on this figure is basically like the amazing fantasy Spider-Man figure, the two retro card Spider-Man figures is the same movement basically. The double, the double crunch down, uh, back, uh, back. You could even do a fat Tobey Maguire, not saying that you may have want to, just kind of, uh, quoting that, uh, call him like the live action Peter B. Parker. I'm pretty sure you just call me fat. Uh, uh, but, um, 
fixing that that air crunch. Uh, even though he's like on a his head, the head is like on a cowboy um cow cowbell joint. There's like these lines around the uh from the neck to the body, the bottom of the neck to the body. It's like once he looks up, you can tell that there's like something stretching from the bottom. So I don't know if the bottom of the neck is on a bell joint itself from the body. But that's as much it hit the head skull can look up. So that's kind of good, I guess. From basically going like that. and it, But the head skull can't. He can look down that much, so that's also good. Um, each Spider-Man figure is on a belt, a butterfly joint, which I do like when Spider-Man figures do have is the butterfly joints, because it does help with cool movements, with cool poses. Uh, both arms can do three sixty all around. Both arms can reach out that far. Actually, that far out, that far in, 360. Um, he does got, he does have a, both arms do have a double elbow jointed. And how some Spider-Man figures still and don't have they, this three figures pack of Toby, Andrew, and Tom, uh, does not have one, ha doesn't have those pins, uh, in the legs and in the arms. So, they're pinless. So, you can actually see the full paint sculpt, and there's no holes to hold the knee and stuff but i also liked about the cover that i forgot to point out is that i don't know if you guys noticed yet is that they're not it's not like the actors themselves they didn't like paint or computerize on uh, of the actors they basically computerized or painted the figures on there um but um the the hands on both the arms can go, go 360 up that far down that far uh the foot down that far up that far the leg oh and the thigh can go 360 both thighs and th and this can go 360 which I'm pretty sure it can also move side to side uh but the knee is both knees are doubled double knee jointed so there's that As I'm gonna lift both arms up, both arms, and yeah. Now, to no, wait, I just did Toby. Andrew, now Andrew. Andrew! Uh, basically, same movement, butterfly joints. Also, both, also each, everyone's head can do 360. Looks up that far, down that far. Back, forward. Down, up, oh. And for Toby's karate kick, Toby's 
Spider-Man Karate Kid kick. He can only kick out to that that much. But mostly he does use his second leg to also help him kick, so in the movies. So it's not really Oh. Oh I just noticed. Look at the legs. They move. Dude, that's cool. I just noticed that. Alright. Uh, um, yada yada. Basically, you say movements. The leg is questionable. Andrew kicks out that far, only using one leg. But using two legs to help him kick. Pretty good. Now, Tom, on the other hand, doesn't have that double body crunch. He just has the one. The one ab crunch. And he also has the waist swivel. Now, um... It does, by this camera look of style, he... It, it both figures does look the same, including this one. This one... Thanks, my camera stand from real quick. This figure did not come with much accessories. He didn't even come with a builder figure. He just came with two web, uh, web uh, shooting hands and... Two, uh, two fist hands. That's it. So, comparing this one and this one, which one is movie accurate, which one is better, which one you should have on your shelf. Honestly, I looked at the movie over and over and over. This one. This one that comes with the three pack is what you want on your shelf. This one you are going to say is more closer to movie accurate than this one. Because this one has the web lines like he did in the movie. This one didn't. This one on the, th on the legs and a little bit on the arms is pure black. This one is like a blackish blue. The uh the finger the fingers on the glove in the movie is red. It's not black. Like on this one. So and the red, yeah, on this one is like light, pure light red. This one is dark red, which K Arguments, lighting, and shit, yeah, let that part go. The ending point that you guys would want to know, most of all, this one is 100% movie accurate look than this one is. So, now, re standing them back up. And if anybody in the comments down below feels like they w feel like wonders with which Spider-Man is my favorite Spider-Man. Now, to me, I don't like to choose which Spider-Man is my favorite. I don't like to choose just one. To me, I like them all. I love all three of the actors, even all the cartoons, all the comic books, 
Well, except the new, the, the, the ones that's coming out this past previous year, years, whatever. Um, but, um, um, and claiming with these three Spider-Man actors, they bring their own, I don't want to say flavor, but their own style, their own point of view on how they see Spider-Man, on how their own Spider-Man is different from each other. That's what I like about the three. But, if you guys really want me to choose one, like, which one is my all-time favorite, and if I must choose one to answer your guys' question, I'm gonna have to say, even though I grew up with all, basically, even though I technically grew up with these two Spider-Man, not just one over the other, but these two, these two, I grew up with. I'm gonna have to go with Tom Holland. To me, yes. I grew up with the MCU as well, and honestly, that's why I'm choosing Tom Holland, is because he, even though he's in the MCU, and that's not my only reason, it's because it, there's much more other reasons, but... To shorten it wise, the MCU is one of my main reasons why I like uh, Tom Holland. So now getting into my wish list, what I would like to see Hasbro do later down in the line of Spider-Man figures, like like live action TV sh uh, series, cartoons, and whatever. So, but for comic book, retro comic book line, um, because I know they, I know they, uh, now are doing not just one retro line for Spider-Man, but two retro lines. One retro line is for the animated series, and the second retro line is for the comic book. So... Comic book retro line would be Madam Web. I would love to see a retro comic book Madam Web. Uh, 1967 through uh, 1970. Um, Spider-Man the Anime Series, Spider-Man. 1977 through 1979. The Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, uh, the, the Amazing Spider-Man, the 1994 through 1998 Spider-Man animated series, Madam Web, 2001 through, I mean, 2000 through 2001, Spider-Man, the video game, Spider-Man, I think it would be cool to see, okay, if we get, um, I think it'd be cool with Marvel, Ed, with Hasbro doing, like, the past, new, recent, the, the few recent Spider-Man games, at, uh, in their Spider-Man figure line. I think it'd be cool if they go back dur during past video games and make figures of those video games as well, like, like I just said, 2000 through 2001, Spider-Man, the video game Spider-Man, uh, I mean, what would it hurt, I I'm pretty sure Spider-Man figure fans would collect any video game variant Spider-Man figure on the side of the past Spider-Man figures they already have, so, 2002 through 2007, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies, uh, would be, uh, for, uh, that's on, during that part of the wish list, is Mark I homemade boxer Spider-Man suit, Norman Osborn Green Goblin, Doc Ock, 
Harry Osborn, Green Goblin, Sandman, Venom, 2008-2009, through 2009, The Spectacular Spider-Man, the animated series, The Spectacular Spider-Man and Venom, 2012-2009, to through 2017, Ultimate Spider-Man, the animated series, Ultimate Spider-Man, Venom, Agent, Ven and Agent Venom, Miles Morales, Spider-Man, 2099, Spider-Man, Ben, uh, Scar Scarlet Spider, Madam Web, 2012 to 2014, the Amazing Spider-Man, uh, which is the t Andrew Garfield, Mark One, uh, homemade spider suit, which is basically the design that he, uh, made when he went go walking around to first fight crime to go find his uncle's killer, and then uh, Mark Two homemade Spider-Man suit. Um, that he made after, uh, that he made after, uh, he got tired wearing that first original suit that he made, uh, which the second Mark II suit is what he weared the rest, the rest, uh, wearing, uh, for the rest of the movie, of the first movie, uh, <laughs> The Lizard, Electro, and the Rhino. Yes, I know, there's not many people who loves the Andrew Garfield's Rhino. But, I do, I would love to add that Rhino variant design to my collection. Including, it's the first live-action Rhino we ever gotten. Uh, 2017 through 2020... Spider-Man the Animated Series, Spider-Man and Venom, 2017, Spider-Man Homecoming, Aunt May Parker, Herman Zoltz, The Shocker, The Tinkerer, 2021, Venom Let There Be Carnage, Carnage, 2021, Spider-Man No Way Home, yes, I got two, two, Figures on my wish list that I would like to see from No Way Home. Since they did bring out a three figures pack from No Way Home, there could still be a possibility for Hasbro to redo these two, to do this figure and redo one of them from Spider Man No Way Home. Which the read. Which the figure they could redo and make it better, movie accurate, like they did with this one, um, is the black and gold inside out suit, and then the figure they could do that they didn't do the first time around, which is the suit that he weared at the very end of the movie, the light bright red and blue classic Spider-Man suit. Yes, this next figure I'm about to ask for, nobody likes, including my friend Barrett, because of the actor that played the character. But, the design of Morbius in the movie was cool when he was full-ledged vampire. If we got a normal Jettoletto's head sculpt with the Morbius figure, I would not care. Honestly, that... That head sculpt would be garbage. That would be the only time I would not care about getting a different, a normal looking head sculpt. But a full vet, a full ledge, Jettoletto's uh, vampire look Morbius. That would be totally, really badass to have on the shelf. Yes, the movie was terrible. But having a Morbius figure would be awesome. Um... From the 2022 Morbius movie. The trailer looks awful. Yes, that I will agree. But the actor... But the actor and the design for the... For 2023 Craven the Hunter movie... 
is really badass. So even though the movie might suck, like the, like the movie Morbius did, it would still be cool to get the live action uh, Craven the Hunter figure, ju just like it would be cool to still get a vampire version of Jed Leto's Morbius. Um, 2024, Madam Web. Uh, Madam Web is getting a movie in 2004, a live action vert. So I think it'd be cool to get a live action Madam Web figure as well. Um, rumors to be that there could be a fourth live action Spider-Man, a fourth live action Peter Parker. So I think that'd be cool once Sony gets around to do another live action, a fourth live action Peter Parker. Uh, and also rumors to be. There's going to be a live action Miles Morales and Gwen Stacy movie. So I think that, so when those movies get, get, comes around too, I think that would be cool to get a live action Miles Morales and Gwen, and Spider Gwen figures. So drop a comment down below. Uh, did you guys see No Way Home? What did you guys think of No Way Home? What was your favorite part of No Way Home on the side of Toby and Andrew Garfield coming back and being in the movie? Um, and their villains making a appearance. On the side of them, what else about the No Way Home movie did you like? Um... Uh, what, what Spider-Man comic book, video game, movie, cartoon is your favorite Spider-Man? Um, uh, what's your favorite Spider-Man costume design? Uh, what's your favorite actor, voice actor, uh, for Spider-Man? Um... It, it's okay to like one Spider-Man movie and like one Spider-Man suit and may like a different Spider-Man actor, voice actor. It's okay because I, I do it all the time. I like one, uh, I like, uh, I like, I may like this version of somebody, but I do like the costume from the other actor. I played the same character, but anyway. So, yeah. Have a nice day. Have a nice night. Whenever you're watching us, peace. Flip.